international witnesses. A Buckinghamshire man has set up his own business as a personal fitness coach. Nothing special in that, you might think, but James O'Driscoll is blind. He was the first blind person in the UK to seek the qualification, and the courses had to be rewritten to accept his disability. Now living in Aylesbury, he set up a gym in the family home for his clients. I used to be in construction, like working on the roads and doing road reconstruction, footway reconstruction, finding enough laying tactile curbs. One night, it was a Tuesday night, I went, went to bed. Didn't think anything different. I woke up on Wednesday morning and I couldn't see out uh, one eye. It kind of went from there. Within that moment, that Wednesday, six weeks later, I was registered blind. Good boy. After all these tests, and he said, right, yep, you've got levers. Uh, sorry? He goes, levers, optic, hereditary neuropathy. The optic nerve, and it's, it's dying away. It won't regenerate because the brain and the optic nerve are made of a matter that doesn't regenerate. So, okay, you're blind. Up, oh, okay. I've really just went in on myself. I grew my hair, grew a beard. I literally, I was smoking 40 miles per day. And I remember waking up one morning, putting my hand down on the floor, and it was just in cigarette butts, spilt beer cans and pizza. And I thought, I can't do this. So I, if I carry on like this, there's not going to be much of me left. Ten more. I'm really proud of this. I put a rowing machine together by myself. It took a while. I still had a couple of bolts left over, but it didn't fall apart and I didn't hurt myself, so that was okay. But I've done it and I started going on a rowing machine, started getting back into it. 18, 19, 20. I got beaten up twice, quite badly. One group of guys thought I was taking the mickey out of blind people. Another time someone thought I was staring at his girlfriend, so I took up martial arts wing chun. And I've done that quite intensively for five years. So I used to skateboard a lot when I was a teenager and I scared the life out of my wife when I said I wanted to do it again. And I have. Freedom. Don't have to rely on anyone else. Just me. And the skateboard. I just love it. Squat back, hips down. I want to know that your body is working to its maximum potential so you get the most out of it safely. You don't notice any difference with James at all. So he just gets on with it and you don't realise once you're in the session. Um, I train for London Marathon. Strength training, like especially for my legs and then also get my upper body as well, a bit more strength, and then also nutrition. Right. Obviously talking to him in between each set, I can tell by the response time, because I've got contact with the bar as well, I can see which side is stronger, which side is weaker. Go on, power through. Losing my sight changed my life massively. Now, the little things in life mean a lot. Beautiful wife, lovely little boy. You know, a nice house, uh, a new start, a new challenge. CCTV 